Adult illegal aliens represented 3.1% of the total adult population of the country in 2003. By comparison, the illegal alien prison population represented a bit more than 4.54% of the overall prison population. Therefore, deportable criminal aliens were more than half again as likely to be incarcerated as their share of the population. In the 2005 U.S. Justice Department population study of 55,320 to illegal aliens, researchers found that they are arrested at least a total of 459,614 times, averaging about eight arrests per illegal alien. Offenders were located in 36 states, but it is clear that most of the offenders were located in states with the highest numbers of illegal immigrants. Communities throughout this country are experiencing increasing alien involvement in drug importation and distribution, weapons smuggling, and violence against persons and property. The escalation in alien crime has placed added demands on state and local law enforcement personnel. Those who sneak into the country undergo no form of screening for criminality or any other grounds for exclusion. From misdemeanors such as an assault or DUI to drug offenses, illegal immigrants who commit sex crimes break U.S. laws repeatedly. To get the full extent of the collateral damage, we need to apply the average number of offenses across all 267,000 currently incarcerated illegal alien criminals. Doing so results in 1,288,619 crimes. The 1,288,619 crimes are only the ones committed by the hardcore illegal alien criminals who are finally caught and incarcerated. The ones not caught and the new criminals crossing daily are committing more crime each and every day. Defendants charged with unlawful reentry had the most extensive criminal histories. 90% had been previously arrested. Of those with prior arrests, 50% had been arrested for violent or drug-related felonies. There are currently over 400,000 unaccounted for illegal alien criminals with outstanding deportation orders. At least one-fourth of these are hardcore criminals. 80,000 to 100,000 illegal aliens who have been convicted of serious crimes are walking the streets. Based on studies, they will commit an average of 13 serious crimes per perpetrator. Illegal aliens commit at least 2,158 murders each year, a number that represents three times greater participation than their proportion of the population. Illegal alien sexual predators commit an estimated 130,909 sexual crimes each year. Nearly 63% of illegal alien sex offenders have been deported on another offense prior to committing the sex crime. The very brutal MS-13 gang has over 15,000 members and associates in at least 115 different cliques in 33 states. At least 4.5 million pounds of cocaine with a street value of at least $72 billion is smuggled across the southern border every year. The overall financial impact of illegal alien crimes is estimated at between $14.4 and $81 billion or more per year. Factor in the crime as a result of the cocaine and other drugs being smuggled in an the number may reach. In some areas of the country, 12% of felonies, 25% of burglaries, and 34% of thefts are committed by illegal aliens. About 60% of the crimes being committed are by illegal aliens who were previously deported. The criminality of the first generation of immigrants, those who migrated as opposed to their children, is less than that of the native born. Illegal immigrants commit all of all other offenses, particularly criminal offenses, at a rate lower than white citizens do. Because many immigrants to the United States, especially Mexicans and Central Americans, are young men who arrive with very low levels of formal education, popular stereotypes tend to associate them with higher rates of crime and incarceration. However, data from the census and other sources show that for every ethnic group without exception, incarceration rates among young men are lowest for immigrants, even those who are the least educated. The misconception that the opposite is true persists among policymakers, the media, and the general public, thereby undermining the development of reasoned public response to both crime and immigration. These misperceptions are perpetrated by government reports of growing numbers of Hispanic immigrants in U.S. prisons. The fact that many of these immigrants enter the country through unauthorized channels or overstay their visas often is framed as an assault against the rule of law, thereby reinforcing the impression that immigration and criminality are linked. This holds true especially for the Mexicans, Salvadorians, and Guatemalans who make up the bulk of the undocumented population. Non-citizen men from Mexico ages 18 to 40, a group disproportionately likely to 